Hello everyone, welcome to another bot build showcase. The Sting Nelly was once the terror of this game, but nowadays they're close to extinct. You almost never see them anywhere. So I got curious, are they still viable? I'm gonna show you two clips from my experiments with this frame, and you can decide for yourself. One's against AI, the other in a competitive setting. This Nelly rocks all light armors and accelerators for speed and agility. Its max speed is 48 km an hour and it jumps extremely uh, long for, well, yeah, it has an extreme jump, let's just say that. And uh, it was the first bot I built in 2.0, uh, so I thought stealth might be good, so I equipped stealth. Um, now I'll say there are better options than stealth. Uh, I'm running feeding gears on my stings. And even though I just said it, the first clip we're gonna see, I'm not running feed, uh, feeding gears on my sting at all. I'm running another set of stings. They are equipped as follow. Magazines and reinforced ammunitions. So, this game, it's a one versus one. There's of course also the AI. Check out that jump, man. And how fast it is. This, well, right now I'm speeding up the footage because, yeah. I'm gonna be crawling around a lot. So basically you're using the speed and agility to avoid javelins and to always stay in cover and get close enough to actually use your stings. And uh, I missed there. Um, I jumped and then I realized, oh, a turpids. Hope I get in cover in time. And I did. I might have peed my pants a little, especially when I saw that Sean. But, you know, you get to it. Soggy pants and all, I'm moving towards the crash ship, hoping to put some more stings into that beast. 6k for one salvo, that's pretty decent. I later found out that against humans, especially with, because humans, they can dodge. They can dodge a lot better than AI. So I rather have more chances of actually hitting, even though it means I have to expose myself a bit more. So, um, this, this build was very, very, very common in the game, way back. But it's completely fallen out of favor now. So a lot of the newer player might never have actually faced it. And this is pretty much how you play the Sting Nelly. You hide most of the time. Uh, you crawl back and forth. And when you try, you try to, to, to hit the opponent when you can. I gotta hurt. 7,000. Against humans, you generally don't want to fire both your stings at the same time. 
unless you're completely sure you're gonna hit. Uh, against humans, uh, fire one side and then the other side uh, gives them less chance of dodging all your missiles. Seeing how this is an entire 10 minute footage, I have speeded up a lot of the footage. Just because, well, it's fit fighting AI, how interesting is it? This bit here, when I'm one on one a human opponent, now we're playing like real time speed. And you can see uh, how you need to maneuver your uh, no, sorry, <laughs> Sting Nelly. It was kind of the Tormentor Nelly of its day back in when this was a common bot, but it's been kind of outcompeted by the Tormentor Nelly. The way I run this thing, uh, this thing Nelly is, um, uh, or I run it. As light as I do, because I think uh, the mobility and agility you get from it is, is pretty much needed. Check out this lovely, lovely silo lighting effects. If you never took a climb inside this, you should do it. Well, Let's uh, finish up this AI match quickly and let's get to the footage I have. And it's from a squad fight that I had with my clan, the Iron Smiles, uh, against uh, one of the other clans in the game. And one of the top clans, it's the Russians, uh, Soviet Union, and I think they might have some affiliates with them as well. Look at him, thinking he's safe out of my range. I can jump. Look at that. Jumped 150 meters. So, there you have it. Can you grind AI in a Sting Nelly? Yes, you can. At this point in the game, we one of us disconnected. So, we're a man down and uh, we're fighting an uphill battle, to put it like that. I've lost my starting bot, a hammer MAO. You might see that footage in another video at some point. We're being pushed pretty hard by SU, uh, and I'm gonna play a defensive role in my sting. And as in. And in this game, I have feeding gears on my stings, as I posted in the opening sequence where I presented the build. And this footage is playing in its natural speed, it's not sped up at all, so you can get a better feel for the flow of the match. All of these opposing players here are very, very skilled. So without beacons or any other kind of objectives, team deathmatch often turn into these uh, very defensive games where you get uh, a lead of some points and then you play defense and force the others to attack you. SU is also uh, very, very, very skilled at, the f at what we lovingly call trench warfare, where they basically dig in and uh, coordinate and, well, yeah. They run a tight ship and it's a hard defense to, to counter. 
some might think it's a little bit boring to play against um, and that's a valid opinion it's just a certain fact of the game we're pushing up to that hill because well we have to push we uh, have three minutes left of the game and uh, we're not doing too good My presence here uh, makes us able to dominate this hill for a while. Uh, if you pay attention, you can see how uh, I'm threatening all these ravagers around here. I'm hunting for a decent target. There he is. Just need a target look. I'm also quite paranoid about that light over there. But even from behind that uh, ledge or whatever it is, I can hit him with my stings. And forcing him to retreat. Uh, at this point, <laughs> this little hill is getting quite crowded. We are pressured from around. Uh, most of my th team is pretty beat up. Uh, but as you can see, I'm uh, putting steady pressure on SU with my stings, forcing them to stay outside of my range. Teammates, my teammates are playing point plank defense for, for me here, keeping lights and keeping the ravagers from just rushing. And if you play the sting melee this way, it can be quite effective for competitive squad play. So, why aren't we seeing more of these? I don't know. Why aren't we? My team is mostly dead. I'm cornered. We're shocked. I guess that means we'll see each other next time. Maybe you'll be playing a Sting Nelly.